Hello students, this is a continuation video on the properties of falsifications based on the extension principle. So, already we have proved the property first, uh, property 1 and property 2. Now, in this video, let us prove property 3 and 4. So, let us check out that now. So, now we have to prove that f of union of a i for i an element of capital I is equal to union of f of a i for i an element of capital I. First, we shall consider the left hand side for a particular value. So, let for x an element of capital X and y an element of capital Y. So, we are considering a particular value y from capital Y. We will consider this for that particular value y. So, f of union a i for i an element of capital I of y. So, this will be equal to. Now, by the definition of the extension principle, we know that f of a of y is equal to supremum of a of x. Uh, x such that y is equal to f of x for all the fuzzy set A element of set of all fuzzy sets with respect to the universal set x. So, this is by the definition. So, using this definition over here, we obtain that. So, this is equal to supremum of union A i for i an element of capital I x such that y is equal to f of x of x. So, this is by the extension principle. Now, this union a i can be written as supremum of a i of x because a is a fuzzy set. By using the fuzzy union, the property of fuzzy union, this can be written as. So, this is equal to supremum of x such that y is equal to f of x and this can be written as supremum of a i of x so um, a i of x for i an element of capital i so this is by the property of fuzzy union so uh, this can actually be replaced because both are supremum we can just replace the brackets so this can be written first so supremum of i an element of capital i of supremum of x such that y is equals to f of x of a i of x. Now again by using the definition of the extension principle. So f of a i of uh, y will be equal to supremum of a i of x. x such that y is equals to f of x. So here we have supremum of a i of x. So that can be replaced as f of a i of y. So let us replace it now. So, this will be equal to supremum of i an element of capital I and this can be replaced by using the fuzzy extension principle as f of a i of y. Now, by using the fuzzy union, we know that supremum of f of a i of y will be equal to union i an element of capital I, f of a i of y. So, this is by using fuzzy union which we have done already. So, if you go through that you will understand this better. So, that therefore we started with f of union a i i an element of capital I of y and we have obtained that to be equal to union of f of a i for i an element of capital I of y. So, this is for one particular value of y for y an element of capital Y. So, now we can generalize it. So, therefore, we obtain this to be f of union a i for i an element of capital I is equal to union i an element of capital I f of a i. So, hence we have proved the property 3. So, next we shall prove property 4. So, the next property is f of intersection a i for i an element of capital I is a subset of intersection of f of a i for i an element of capital I. So, let us first prove this for a particular value of x and y. So, let for x an element of capital X 
and y an element of capital y so for when we choose it for a particular value we will consider the left hand side f of intersection of a i for i an element of capital i of y so this of y will be equal to so by the definition of the extension principle f of a of y is equal to supremum of a of x x such that y is equal to f of x so by using this we obtain this to be equal to supremum of intersection e i for i an element of capital i x such that y is equals to f of x of x okay and so uh, this is equal to now we know that intersection of a i for i an element of capital i so intersection of many fuzzy sets we know that the fuzz uh, by by the definition of fuzzy intersection this will be equal to the infi infimum of a a i of x so if you see the definition of fuzzy intersection you will understand that so this can be written as supremum of x such that y is equals to f of x and this can be replaced as infimum of a i of x for i an element of capital i so now this can be written as lesser than or equal to infimum of x i mean uh, infimum of i an element of capital i we will just uh, interchange this so when we interchange this equality becomes lesser than or equal to so infimum of i an element of capital i supremum of x such that y is equals to f of x a i of x so this is a greater value of all the small uh, of the smallest value this is smallest of the greater value obviously this will be lesser than or equal to this value okay so now this can be uh, written as again by using the uh, extension principle the supremum of a of a i of x x such that y is equals to f of x can be replaced as so this will be equal to infimum of i an element of capital i and by using the extension principle this can be replaced and written as f of a i okay f of a i of y but what is infimum of f of a i by using the definition of fuzzy uh, intersection infimum of f of a i can be written as intersection of f of a i for i an element of capital i of y therefore we started with f of intersection a i for i an element of capital i of y and we got it got this to be lesser than or equal to because here we have the inequality lesser than or equal to and this was equal to this and this was equal to this therefore it is lesser than or equal to intersection of f of a i for i an element of capital i of y so now when if uh, these two uh, are lesser than or equal to for a particular value of y then we can say that so this will imply f of intersection of a i for i an element of capital i will be a subset of intersection of i an element of capital i f of a i this is by the concept of uh, fuzzy subsets okay hence we have proved property 3 and 4 so hope you have understood those two prop the proof, proof of those two properties in our next video let us see the proof of properties 5 6 and 7 thank you